Hello and welcome back to Expo Hub channel. There is a question, can I exclude present validation station? So in your document understanding, we use present validation station to validate if the extract is done properly or not, right? If you recall, in our document understanding, we do that. But how will you automate if every time it prompts you, if that comes it again and again, again and again, that you have to validate, then how will you truly automate it? So the question is, can I exclude it? That is the question. So let me first show you, I have created an automation where this is the invoices, multiple invoices that I have in this particular folder. And I would like to extract the data and store into an Excel file. So the invoice looks something like this. And I want to extract a couple of fields. For example, amount due, invoice number, due date, build. These are the couple of data that I would like to extract from the invoice and I would like to store it into an excel file. So that is the automation. So I have built it and I am going to talk about this completely in detail in the next video. But at the moment let's see what I wanted to demonstrate. So let me quickly run this. Okay. So it's going to read all the files one by one from this particular folder. And once it reads it, it's going to store into an Excel file, which I'm going to show you. So the process is currently running. All right. Let's wait for a second. Then I'm going to clarify you. Do you really need to use present validation station? Is it mandatory? All right. So now uh, execution is completed. So let me go to that particular Excel file where I'm writing the output. So you can see all this data has been extracted invoice number, build to due date, amount due. These are the four different data that I would like to extract from the PDF files that were there inside the folder. All right. So everything has been extracted. The output has come properly. I'm happy, but let's go back to our workflow and understand did I use present validation station? If you scroll down, I'm going to talk about the entire workflow in the next video. If you want to learn how to extract, how to do invoice extraction. But here, if you see data extraction scope, after data extraction scope, your next step that comes is present validation scope. Now, let me show you the difference so that you understand pretty clearly. Let's go to the activities. And in the activities, uh, let me use present validation station. Okay. So let me drag and drop before export. Before you export, you would like to validate, right? So what are the variables that you provide here? Document path that already you have seen it in my previous knowledge or else you can see the next video where I'm in detail explaining about all this, all the steps I'm explaining in the next video. Now document object model. Now taxonomy, okay, and automatic extraction results is nothing but the output of the previous extraction scope. So before present validation, you have something called data extraction scope and this is the variable extraction results. Extraction results, okay. And here the output will be, you have to create a variable called validated, you can give any name, results. Okay. So now if I run it, what would happen? A variable with the same name validation already exists. Okay. It is, it is already there. So let me use it. Validated extraction results. I had already created. Okay. So once I have it ready. And if you run this particular workflow, what would happen? Let's say you have to automate some 100 to 200 files or imagine there are 400, 500 files that you have to extract data from. Now what would happen if you have this present validation station and if you run this or if you um, publish it in orchestrator and you try to run it, what would happen at every each and every document it's going to pause. It's going to stop and give you that validation. So let's wait within a within a 
few seconds it is going to pop up that window where it will ask you to validate the data every time you run it it will ask you to validate but will you really do in a complete automation end to end automation will you then why you are uh, doing an automation right that will be a question that comes to all of our mind if i have to every time uh, validate so this concept should be very clear when you are validating when you are developing it you are validating and you are saying okay my numbers are correct coming properly okay this is fine this is fine okay that means my custom selection is proper the confidence score is 100 here very good here 95 i'm okay with the data so you are validating during your development all right so once you are about to put it to production and where uh, you know you you are you know that the validation is working fine so the question comes rakesh can i exclude it i mean can i delete this because see if i run a automation like this with the present validation station every time it is going to prompt me so my answer to you from my experiments and from my experience the answer is let me stop this so the answer is your present validation is very much required while you are developing your automation task and while you are dealing with multiple uh, or during your testing you need it so that you know that your automation is working perfectly fine with the amount of input that is coming it is ex exactly able to do the work that you wanted to so this is more of a testing more of a during your development you need it or any time you feel data is coming incorrect and you would like to validate using so this station is generally for that okay but once you are okay and you have validated and everything is working fine i can simply delete it i can simply delete it and instead of using that validated extraction results i can use the output extraction results from the data extraction scope okay so i'm using this particular variable and using this variable i can use that into the export extraction results activity and i can get the output into data set and i can you know do all these things and get the output and everything i have explained in the next video just watch my next video you will get the entire detail of all of it in detail i have gone so now let's quickly run it and let me show the output once again before that let's uh, delete this data it's going to throw an error let me stop the automation my system is hanging so let's delete the entire data from the existing excel file and save it and close it and run the automation and see if the data is coming properly or not so the answer will be pretty clear technically yes it is possible and you also know why it is very important to use the present validation station when it is important okay that is very 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 conceptual thing so now i have removed present validation station from my workflow and i'm running and we will see if the output is coming or not okay so now it is running let's wait for a second okay it's completed now let's open up let's open that particular file where i'm storing my output or where i'm writing my output so let's quickly open it so you can see the output has come properly all right so it is it can work without the present validation station but it is very very important i'm not trying to say don't use it use it but you should know when to use it right that is for more of to validate data during your development during your testing or any time your automation failed you would like to validate again right that's you have already moved it to production and you you would like to validate once again because there are complaints so the the, the activity has its own importance and you should know when and where to use it okay so thank you so much for watching this i hope your concepts are clear and you must be confident now how to uh, put a document understanding in place for invoice extraction please do watch my next video where i am in detail i am going through the entire steps end to end because i have created separate separate videos for each one stage right uh, but many may be looking for a video one shot having everything with great example so please watch my next video and i'm pretty sure you like it and you will learn a lot of things in that thank you so much and you guys have a wonderful day bye bye